before they contact one another. Now the vehicle to vehicle data link is working. Uh, what kind of a data transfer is now going on between the two vehicles? Uh, you know, we have relative measurements of the relative speed, relative position, and also attitude. Uh, but all these are uh, depends on the microwave reader, the laser reader, and the CCD sensor. But both vehicles have measuring of uh, their coordinates, and others, uh, such as the uh, date from the uh, inertial units, and, and other uh, instruments. So they can e exchange that data not only uh, the data from the uh, CCD sensors and the microwave and the laser readers, and other data can be transferred to each it, other. Why do we need three kinds of measurements? That's laser, that's a microwave, and also optic measurement. Uh, this is a redundancy measure to ensure the safety and the reliability. And we can see, of course, astronaut Liu Yang is uh, holding a camera on her hand. Uh, he, she definitely wants to record this historic moment uh, when she enters the space lab for the first time, the first time for Chinese astronaut and woman astronaut mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Although this time is uh, automatic docking, but Liu Wang, uh, who will be in charge of the manual docking, is already sit in the middle seat. Uh, and also in the manual talking later, he will also sit in this position. Mm. Uh, it, it looks like uh, it is all routine uh, operation, but it is not because uh, in the history of human uh, spaceflight, there were problems when docking uh, went wrong. So what could go wrong, John? Well, there are many, many possible things can go wrong. One would be a malfunction of one of the instruments that monitors your position or angle. Another possibility is a malfunction of a propulsion system. In the Gemini program there was one case in which a, an attitude control thruster was turned on and would not turn off. And it, it was a, a very dangerous, yes, a very dangerous situation. But they were able to disable the thruster and uh, correct the situation. And this is uh, the Shenzhou 9 camera taking image of Tiangong 1. And yeah. now it's the other way around, the Tiangong 1 camera taking of Shenzhou 9 spacecraft. Uh, we can see from the two camera images that they are getting very close now. Yes. As I Mr. John said, uh, there is some dangerous happening in the docking process, but the big difference uh, uh, from the last mission, uh, we have three astronauts on board. If any mm -hmm. unexpected thing happen, they can take over the control of the uh, so docking. So the astronauts yeah. can uh, practice override and, and do it manually if anything wrong with the automatic uh, procedure? That's the beauty of having two alternative methods of docking. Well, it seems it's they're yeah. about to dock. Yeah. Perfect. Well, they have already docked, Tiangong 1 and Shenzhou 9. They have docked. Obviously, the astronauts uh, should have felt the bump. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but that says it has formed a combination, and the two spacecraft are joined in space. The capture ring has already attached, but they need other procedures, uh, such as a forced alignment and also pulling the rings together and pulling them tightly. There are 12 hooks on both sides of the vehicle, and each can provide a pulling forces of about three times. Mm. So the 12 pair of uh, hooks can provide a pulling force of about 36 tons. It is big enough to seal the two vehicles very tightly. Mm. Well, what are the astronauts about to do right now? Uh, are they about to check uh, the seal and electronic connection between the two vehicles? This will yes. monitor everything. Yes, they will check the connection is firmly, and also will check the air pressure is okay, and other things. And uh, normally, how long does it take for the astronauts to get into the other module, that's the space lab? Well, the docking itself has not been finished. Uh, as I have mentioned, mm -hmm. if there is a forced alignment, it will take about 10 more minutes. If there is no forced alignment, uh, I mean the attitude is accurate enough, it will 